everyone and welcome. The New Jersey Fire Museum and Fallen Firefighters Memorial welcomes you all to our fifth, fifth annual open house. In a few minutes, we will begin the memorial service, a most solemn occasion. But first, it is very appropriate for us to acknowledge a few people, our friends, our supporters that are with us today. First, I would like to introduce Assemblyman Ron Dancer, who is uh, this area's assembly person. Assemblyman Dancer, would you care to step up and say a few words, please? Assemblyman Dancer is on a tight time schedule today. Um, we didn't bring in a helicopter or a fire truck with sirens, but Assemblyman. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, first of all, let me say that uh, on behalf of uh, the state, uh, county, specifically Monmouth County, and local officials, uh, we are very fortunate uh, to have uh, dedicated officials that are working toward providing the New Jersey State Firemen's Museum and Fallen Firefighters Memorial a permanent home. And, uh, you know, right now we have agreements and we thank the county and the state uh, through the DEP for the uh, agreements that we have right now and uh, the wonderful displays and the memorabilia and opening this up to the public. Uh, we also uh, want to take uh, just a, a few minutes here for this ceremony to recognize and uh, in perpetuity to remember our fallen firefighters from across the state. And uh, to, uh, to assist me as a state official, uh, I'm aware that, uh, and I'm going to ask uh, my colleague and uh, friend uh, representing Monmouth County in the 11th District, Assemblyman Eric Hotelling, if Eric, you would come up, please, and, and also say a few words. And uh, we have a senator that I believe just came in, uh, Senator Thompson, uh, also representing this, the 12th District. Senator, if you would please come up. We'd like for you, uh, Assemblyman Hotelling, and Senator Thompson to uh, also say a few words. Is he going to make a presentation? Maybe you could do it before you leave. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Senator, would you have a presentation here if you'd like to say a few words, and then we'll call upon Assemblyman Hotelling. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblyman. Again, I'm delighted to be able to join you today to remember those who have given their lives in the service of their friends and neighbors. And for those that are still here, for what you do each and every day. To observe this occasion, I do have a joint legislative resolution here. Whereas the Senate and General Assembly of the state of New Jersey are pleased to salute the New Jersey Fire Museum and Fallen Firefighters Memorial, highly esteemed in the Garden State, upon this auspicious occasion of its fifth annual open house on September 27, 2020. And whereas the most significant event of this special day will be a memorial service that will honor the lives of our state's courageous fire service personnel who made the ultimate sacrifice and suffered line of duty death. And I will pay tribute to the many extraordinary men and women who dedicate themselves to protecting the lives and property of their fellow citizens. And whereas a joint effort of the New Jersey Division of Parks and Forestry and the New Jersey Fire Museum, the open house will educate participants on the history of fire service personnel and emergency responders. And it will feature antique fire trucks, hand drawn apparatus, firematic collections, family activities, and food and beverage. And whereas the strength and success of the state of New Jersey, the vitality of our communities, and the effectiveness of our American society depend, in great measure, upon exceptional organizations such as the New Jersey Fire Museum and Fallen Firefighters Memorial that preserve our relics and lessons from the past for the benefit of the present and future generations. And whereas, within all the spheres, 
the New Jersey Fire Museum and Fallen Firefighters Memorial has established a model to emulate and set a standard of excellence toward which others might strive. Now therefore be it resolved by the Senate and General Assembly of the State of New Jersey that this legislature hereby lodge the New Jersey Fire Museum and Fallen Firefighters Memorial, extols the meritorious record of service and commitment demonstrated by its leaders and staff, and extends sincere breath wishes for a safe and enjoyable event. And be it further resolved that a duly authenticated copy of this resolution, signed by the Senate President and the Assembly Speaker, and attested by the Senate Secretary and Assembly Clerk, be transmitted to the New Jersey Fire Museum and Fallen Fighters, Firefighters Memorial. Signed, Stephen Sweeney, President of the Senate, Craig Cotton, Speaker of the General Assembly. Eric. Thank you very much, yes. Senator. Thank you. Why don't you guys come over here? Eric, why don't you come over here? I'm on the other side. Can we come to the middle over there? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, it's good to be here, uh, Senator. Thank you for our assembly, uh, Senator. Thank you for that proclamation, and <clears throat> Ron Dancer, uh, not only a colleague uh, but a friend of mine as well, and. Uh, you know, I stumbled upon this group at the uh, Monmouth County Fair, um, and uh, I didn't really know what I was getting into when I walked through the tent from the agriculture to this open area, and I saw this wonderful uh, preserved fire equipment. And I started talking, and uh, you know, we uh, we hit it off pretty well. They told me to come on out here. I think it was early on when you had your first uh, open house here for all this equipment that that is here, which is truly amazing. Uh, not only is this a museum, but it's for me, it's like a work of art that is here. There's so much wonderful equipment and the transition from early firefighting equipment to where we are now is really uh, something to see. And it's, you can see it right here. Uh, and what early firefighters had to go to do to go out there and fight a fire was truly really amazing. And, you know, but it is a dangerous job. And I am glad to see that you have erected this portion right here of this wonderful facility to honor those that have served and sacrificed their lives and you know just looking at some of the names here there's 10 placards that you have here from Neptune and Larry White who was the chief of uh, Neptune Township uh, was my neighbor growing up so I'm glad to see that not only him but everybody who has served uh, will be honored here at this facility and uh, you know I want to wish you the best and you know that we are working hard to create a truly permanent facility for you here in this area and uh, there's a lot of negotiations going on with that but we have a lot of perseverance and you know we're going to make that happen so I want to say thank you for this opportunity to be here and for what you do and this whole organization and I want to congratulate you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Thompson. Thank you, Assemblyman Hotelling, and thanks to Ron Dancer, who is off already on a part, another journey for the day. I um, don't see any of the other assembly people here yet today, but I would like to introduce. Yeah. Yeah. I just, thank you. Uh, wanted to take a minute to recognize the other folks that have arrived and are here. Um, Monmouth County freeholder Lillian Burry. Lillian, would you have something to, you'd like to say, please? So They're all set for you. Okay. I am absolutely delighted to be here, and I know how long it's taken for you to get here. 
David. Almost as long as it takes me to get here from Colt's Neck. But, but at any rate, uh, my congratulations to you all. And it's something that we certainly are, have been anticipating and are just delighted that we have finally arrived. You know, I've been told that I have a persistence of vision. Well, I have to translate that and say someone like David Horsnell def definitely fits into that definition of persistence of vision. He never let a freeholder go by without a commitment that we were going to get this done. And you did it. You did it. So I, and all the others as well. I don't want, mean to leave anyone out. But once again, just wonderful. God bless you. Thank you, Lily. You're welcome. Watch your step. Okay. Where do you want me to go? Uh, you may join the crowd if you'd like. Over there? Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Lillian. Uh, we are um, very pleased that the freeholders are represented here. And let me say that without the cooperative effort of the Monmouth County Freeholders, um, the Upper Freehold Township Committee, and the uh, state DEP and our representatives to the state in the assembly, uh, we would not um, be able to have this piece of property and be using it at this time. I just want to take a few moments, a few minutes to say a couple things about the association and what's going on. So much, so many great things have changed over the last several months. What I call an explosion of energy with classic apparatus additions, new displays of memorabilia, greatly improved and active website, Facebook, Instagram, social media. I wish I could get a count of how many are here today because they heard about us on the social media. It's the messaging system of the day. Um, and we're grateful that we have someone who is doing such a great job of it and uh, making it work for us. Laura Bozeman. And I'm not quite sure where she is, but thank you, Laura. There she goes. So if you have questions to ask, Get on one of those stations of social media and ask Laura. Uh, maybe we'll start a whole new system here. Um, I'm grateful for everyone that is here today. It makes it seem so worthwhile. I want to thank the Open House Committee. Chair Judy Carr and all the subdivisions of that. As all of you know, those things don't all come together easily. And you get a mix of personalities and ideas. And uh, this has been in process for a number of months. But as member of the board of directors, I thank them all for the energy and the effort that has gone into today's activity. It really is a committee that has been kept jumping because of that energy exploding and cooperation with everyone that's made it possible. 
At this time, I'd like to ask everyone to hit your individual reset button. To get your heart and your soul in rhythm with the solemnity of the Fallen Firefighters Memorial Program. May we just, before that starts, have a long moment of silence before that begins. Please. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our memorial. For many years, this has been an honor for me to be here and spread the love and the concern for all our fallen firefighters. At this time, we'll be here ready to sing the national anthem, but first of all, we're gonna raise the flag. Detail, present, arts. I invite you to join me as we honor America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet the home of the brave. Order, arms. I now would like to ask of all of you to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. And not to just say the words, but look at what they all mean to you and to the pledge itself. For those that don't know it, several years ago, Congress made it uh, okay for veterans 
both present and past, to render a hand salute, whether covered or uncovered. So ladies and gentlemen, that's why most of us salute it today. Now I'd ask you, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Okay. At this time, I'd like the placement of the reefs. At this time, we'll do the opening blessing for each of us by your heads and pray in which you feel comfortable. O oh God, creator of heaven and earth and the life that we carry on within us, bless this gathering of the New Jersey Fallen Firefighters and the Fire Museum Association and guests and all the activities of tonight. Look upon our sick members, give them strength in the time of their anxiety and make them well again. Be with our families, especially those who are fallen firefighters and the departed members of firefighters and all the people who were killed in the defense of the United States also and all those who unfortunately have been killed and lost their lives due to the virus. Help them to comfort them and help them to carry on. Give each of us strength health, courage, wisdoms, and knowledge, and with these great gifts, give us happiness and contentment in the years of our lives. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay, at this time, we'll have the readings. Cape May Point Volunteer Fire Company. Last call, April 15th, 2019. John C. Jack Lemming. this time I'm going to read the last call. Some people know this and some people don't. The tradition, after a firefighter has lost his life, they do what they call the last call and the ringing of the bells to honor that gentleman who gave up his life to protect us and gave us our protection and our care of our families, our members, and our friends. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage. Give me strength for some life to save. Whatever be of that age, help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save the elder person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be able to hear that weakest shout and quickly and efficiently put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and give my best to guard my every neighbor and protect my property. And in according to your will, I am to give up my life.
please bless and protect the hands of my children, my wife, or my spouse. Amen. At this time, we'll bring the ringing of the bells. this time, uh, we have the Lord's Prayer. temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for
this time, I'd like to have the taps played, please. Details. Present arms. <laughs> Should be one second. Now for the benediction. Dear God, creator of heaven and earth, thank you for giving us our lives and those you have taken from us for the protection of our fellow man. May they be happy and enjoy their life in heaven. Be with their families and make them secure and know that they are loved. With that in mind, we bless all of us and ask us to get us home safely and protect us throughout the year of 2020. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'd like to invite any attendees who would like to come up and pay respects to the plaques. It seems like I've spent a day saying thank you, and I do, and I mean every word of it. I thank the folks that came and visited with us, those that are our supporters in faraway cities who travel great distances, who put their heart and soul and have listened to us and heard the message that we're trying to give. For those who participated in the service today, every year it gets just a little bit more emotional. It's real. It's that guy or gal that you got used to get on a step board with. It's the folks you see in the newsreels. Those on the front lines. That young man, that person that we honored today from 2019. You'll excuse my English, but that's a hell of a sacrifice to make for your community. 
and we all need to respect it. And that phrase, let us never forget, is real. It's real for the friends and the family of that person we lost. Go and have a good time the rest of the day. Don't forget our raffle tables. Find out which truck you think we ought to replace or work on next year. Don't forget to watch one more live burn so you know why you should have sprinklers in your home and why you need to talk to your legislators about the value of sprinklers in residential dwellings and why it is so important. Don't forget Hope Fire Company with all their great food out there. It's the thing that makes this now come back to being family and enjoyable afternoon. What am I forgetting? Go get your children's picture taken in that Model T over there. Uh, sit in that Model T with them because you never know when that child is a firefighter where they're going to be and what they're doing. And when Anthony, our newest recruit, when he tells you, come on over here, we're going to do a live burn, make sure you pay attention to Anthony. With that, that's all I've got to say. Thank you again. Have a great rest of the day. Don't forget, next year we'll be back. Good day.